before we continue, I'd like to increase the resolution of the river. So of the curves, I'm going to set the resample here to two and set this resample to two. Right. Now we have more uh, points to work with. Okay. So let's go back to our Python script. And now what we want to do is um, identify uh, for every region, like what is where is the middle point? Like for example, the middle point here is this one. Essentially, we take the size of the, or let's say we take the number of points, and then divide it by two, and then we can tr truncate it uh, using a Python math library. So we can, so we only grab the decimal part. So let's start to do that first because what I want to do is um, let's pick an area like this one so the example can make more sense. All right, let's pick this orange area, right? So the center point here, I want everything um, before and even including this point um, to have the same height at the starting point. And then whatever comes next, I want it to have the height of the last point. It will give us a cascade effect, right? Now, let's grab first uh, the uh, the math library. So I'm going to say input math. And next step, we, we want to say half region. Or let's say we can call it yeah let's call it half region okay is math dot truncate the size of the regions point okay point um divided by two Now, if you uh, want, you can print this. So we see if this is what we want or not. Yeah, this is decimals. That's what I need. So next step is we want to save the position. So I'm going to say half region position because I'll be using this quite a lot. I'm gonna say half region um, dot position. We might want add the minus one here. Um, you will see why in a bit. Okay. Now we're looping over the points. We might want to add some count variable. So we keep track of point index. Now we're gonna grab the um, the point position to a variable. We're gonna call it current position equal point dot position, and then I'm gonna say um, if count. Of course, let's make sure. We increment count here plus equal one. So I'm gonna say if count is less uh, than half region, okay. So we still didn't reach uh, the middle point yet, right? So if that's the case, we're gonna set the position and we're gonna update the height. So take some um, the height of the very first point in that region. So let's say current position region points and 
zero so first point then say put rabbit's position and then we are interested in the y component then this one remains as it is and as you can instantly see um it started to get somewhere right all you have to do now is make sure the next point of the middle point essentially have the same height as the last one so i'm gonna say here else then set position to be the last um, one so i'm gonna say grab the size of this and minus one and now we have this right you can always tweak these parameters if you want but for now let's focus on finishing whatever remaining so i'm gonna set this like that so one last thing as you can see here is um this point needs to have the same uh, position as this point i'm not gonna change the height or anything it's just um yeah i'm just gonna give this point the same x and z uh, value as this one so for that what i'm gonna do here is say if count equal equal half region then point dot set position let's uh give it um so i'm gonna copy this for now and then i'm gonna apply the required changes in a bit else now i'm gonna keep as you see the height as it is it just i want to take um the half reason position here so i'm gonna say this and this now let's take a look it sounds like i did the mistake somewhere let's see if this then else that mm. oops yeah i forgot about this <clears throat> so now we have this right um as you can see looks like water cascade right so this is probably what we need let's try to look at it from here we can change the height trigger we can change this right And now, um, if you want, like you can always, for example, if I look at this area, like you might want um, to do something to with the previous point or the next point if you want to, right? Um, but in our case, I added this here so I can give you the flexibility to uh, to do something if you want to like for example you can average the um the height of the first point of any region with uh the height of the previous uh point if you want so um yeah but um 
I think I I might leave it like this for now and later on we will see about this.